Hey guys, Jack Leeson with StartupTrading.com and in this video I'm going to be going over what is called the ATR, also known as the Average True Range and how I use it in my trading as well as a couple of other indicators including the VWAP and the PSR which I also use uh, in my trading. So uh, pay attention, stay tuned and get a pen and paper out because you're going to want to write down some of the stuff I'm about to teach you. One of the things we're going to first do here is I'm going to go to the S&P 500. We're going to move to a daily chart. I got a bit of a mess on my screen, so let me just uh, actually clear this drawing set. I'm going to turn on my extended session, and I'm going to get rid of my studies for the time being. Um, what the ATR is, or the average true range, is the average size of the bar. Uh, by a certain factor. Now, I use an ATR of 14. This is the Thinkorswim trading platform. And if you go into their studies, so you go studies, edit studies, they have their own uh, ATR in here. Now, their ATR plots at the bottom. So I'm going to actually turn my studies on. You're going to see a lot more on my screen real quick. I'm going to load my ATR study set. Um, their ATR oops, studies, edit studies. ATR. There is called there is called the ATR Wilders, who is I believe the name of the dude who invented the ATR. Well, the thing about their ATR is it plots on the bottom, which I'm not really interested in seeing this line. Currently, the average true range is 38 points, uh, 38 points here in the S&P 500. But if you look at their factor, so we'll go studies, studies, edit studies, and the ATR Wilders. You can always find more information about it, but it's an average uh, range indicator over the last 14 days. So what that means is in the last 14 days, they're adding up all of the data. So taking the last 14 days, adding them together, and then dividing that number by 14 to get your average. And so what that'll tell you is on average every single day, obviously we are moving 30, uh, 38 points. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Now, what I did is I actually created a custom coder, specifically two of them, which helped me uh, to kind of determine a couple of things. One of them, when are we going outside of the range? So on the top left of my screen, you'll actually see two different numbers here. One of them is the ATR. So uh, my ATR is calculated slightly different. The average true range here is about 35 and a half points on the daily chart in the S&P 500. So on average, every single day, we're moving 35 points. And then I have Another ATR factor, which I consider a range expansion, and this is really, really crucial. You'll see bars on my screen right now that are yellow. Any bar that is yellow means that day was one and a half times the average of what we've been seeing, or a volatility expansion. Typically, volatility expansions um, are turning points in the market or can be very aggressive moves. What you'll notice here is actually uh, the last three bottoms here, and I'm going to actually back out a little further on this S&P 500. The last three bottoms on this S&P 500 have been days where we've had two back-to-back -back range expansions. And you'll notice here we have range expansion, range expansion, range expansion. All that means is that day is one and a half times the average range. Once again here, range expansion, range expansion, two days of range expansion, range expansion, range expansion, two days of range expansion, same thing here. One, two days of range expansion, we make a bottom. So this is a very key indicator. This is something I've custom made. Now that's when I look at it on the daily chart. If you go to the five minute chart, I use this completely differently. I'm gonna turn off my extended session and I'm going to show you guys uh, what I like to look for. Now, what you'll notice here, and I don't want to get too complicated going over other indicators in this video because I really did want to focus on the average true range, um, but just for the purpose of your viewing, to understand what I have on my screen, both of these indicators are available in Thinkorswim. They are not custom to me. One of them is the VWAP, which is the purple line, or the vol also known as the volume weighted moving average, and the other is called the parabolic SAR. Uh, which is basically just a trailing momentum indicator to tell me uh, the what side the momentum is on in the market. Uh, so one of the things I'll look for is an ATR break with a PSAR break, meaning what we have is a yellow bar uh, in the direction of the PSAR as well. So 
if the blue dots, which are the PSAR, are above, that's bearish. And if the blue dots are below, that's bullish. So here on what would have been 10.55 East Coast time, the PSAR switches to bearish. And then we begin having an expansion move to the downside. Now this is something I'll look for uh, in entry into potentially a short trend. So you can have like, you have like a halfway back here you could have sold into, which is also at the VWAP. So these are just clues that I look for to kind of gauge and be on the right side of the market. Also, you'll notice as we sell off to the end of the day, the first bar here is a range expansion to the downside. So one of the things I try to avoid is if we range expand to the downside to stay away from buying that immediate support level below. I like to wait at least 25 minutes. Uh, so that is how I use the ATR. One, on the daily chart to be aware of potential uh, reversals. So I'm going to go back here. Be aware of potential reversals. And then two... Uh, on the five minute chart, I like to be aware that the market is increasing momentum to one side or the other. Now, oftentimes at the open, you are going to have an ATR expansion all of the almost every single day. Like every single day, the open is an average two range expansion because you're going to the highest volume candle typically, or one of the highest volume candles of the day uh, is the open, especially after the overnight session. We're going to expand the range but when you get ATR expansions in the middle of the day they're definitely something to pay attention to uh, for continuations and if they don't continue they're typically reversals so another key thing I'll look at is if we get an ATR expansion lower and then don't continue or an ATR expansion higher and don't continue within 25 minutes I look for a reversal so in this case we have an ATR expansion down at 220 14.20 I'll count 20 I'll count five minute bars over so that's going to be uh, 245 so 245 would be right here if we can't continue lower after 25 minutes that usually means we're running into support and same thing to the upside if we have an ATR expansion higher, that's at 12.55. 25 minutes later would be 120, so that's going to be right here. If we can't continue higher after expanding, we're usually going to go the other way. So it's really a good way to highlight uh, the direction of the market. This is a custom indicator I have created. I'm going to drop the link below. I'm just releasing it. I'm putting a whole course together. It'll be done by, what is the date right now? It is, I believe, the 20. It is the 24th. It'll be done by the end of this month. So if you jump on it now, you will be a little early. But uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Other than that, uh, leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to making more videos on average range. Take care.